do not fall prey. Don't fall prey to these marketers. Don't fall prey to these companies out there who are trying to fool you into buying their products by saying that it's the best gift. The gift itself is not perfect. The gift itself is not the best. It's not a commodity. It's not the product itself that makes the best gift. It's the recipient mindset. It's how the receiver, what the receiver, and why they want it. It's the problem, the issue you're solving in their lives that makes a perfect gift. So the recipient psychology is what you should focus on. What do we do first when you want a gift? We just go to Google, we list down 10 different articles, 10 different blogs, 10 different websites that are trying to fool you into buying their products by saying that it's the best gift, that it is the best gift. This is all a perception that you're falling a prey off. There's no studies, there's no stats, there's nothing done behind the gifts that the list there, and there's no industry, there's no authority, no trusting authority that confirms that, okay, this is the best gift. What I did in this book, and what I want you to help, uh, what I want to help you with this book, is finding and learning how to not fall prey to these companies, to these marketers, who wanna snatch every single penny out of your pockets. This is the goal of this book. In this book, although I run a company called Gift of Feeling, none of the product has been marketed. None of the product is being sold. The entire goal of this book is to help you with the confusions, with the overthinking, with this whole trap of giftophobia, so you do not fall prey to any of these companies. You don't have to buy from me. You don't have to buy from Gift of Feeling at all. You can just learn from this book on how, why having a recipient mindset is the first thing when you want to gift someone. Any sort of gift, whether it be perfect, whether it be best gift. Whatever you search for, your search is over. Don't fall prey to these companies. Thanks for watching.